All right, y'all. I'm going to try something a little bit different. So I have followed these two on social media a couple years now. I mean, I, I don't really watch a whole lot of their stuff, but, you know, I'll watch their shorts. I'll, I follow them on Instagram. I have seen some of their videos and everything. They're a younger couple, 23, 24, I think. And um, they have kids and they're these really successful YouTubers, um, well, they have one kid. One, the, she's pregnant with the second one. So I don't know. Let's just maybe go through this, see if this is something that might be reaction content worthy. I'm not sure, but let's check it out. So this is um, Matt and Abby. It's it's just two random people. <laughs> That's their channel. Their their channel name is literally Matt and Abby. It's recording. You can just like show us popping it and then just like show everybody when people react. I just yeah. like this is a lot of pressure. Sorry, kind of just threw that on you. No, it's okay. I'm worried that one is taken. Three, two, one. The gender reveal party is literally tomorrow. Can you believe that? Is that not crazy? We're leaving the house here in about three and a half hours and then after that we go on a this is this is kind of unheard of. I mean, for two 20, early 20s kids to have this giant house <laughs> and to be able to start a family and everything, I just, like, I wonder what makes these two alluring to people on the internet. You know what I mean? Like, what makes these two people want people like want to click on is it because they're good looking is it because they're young is it because they're successful like what is it that what's the draw here you know what i mean i'm not really picking up i mean they're two good looking people but is that enough i mean do they have the personality to back it up and everything i gotta learn more what, what what's you know what's the draw here on a cruise so we're kind of like getting the heck out of dodge another bite of banana sir bananas are good for babies is not wild that the gender reveal is literally tomorrow are we ready i haven't done anything for this yeah um I so that. in my brain i'm like is this party even happening you planned it all hey <laughs> hey okay, it's okay i'm gonna get you some food in just one second and which which one of the two do you guys think that makes this show more appealing because I would imagine the P the primary the pr primary primary demographic that watches these two is women. So you know I, I'd imagine there's you know, there's not a lot of guys out there being like, oh yeah, what's up with what's up with Matt and Abby? <laughs> I'd imagine the primary demographic with you know watching these two is uh, women. So I don't I don't do they watch this and think like, oh you know I I want I want somebody like Matt like I want to start a family. I mean just. What makes these two interesting? Shake my head. It's okay. We are doing things. Oh my lord! Oh, about tripped. This year we are doing the gender reveal a little bit different than we did last year. Last year we had it at our house, and our family flew out to be in Arizona to celebrate with us. But this year we're flying to see our. Like how when they showed the old footage of last year's gender reveal, they did it in black and white so that I couldn't see the color. I mean, I get it. It's a flashback and everything. It's supposed to suggest that it happened in the past, but <laughs> I don't know. Do they have a son? I think they have a son. Their family in Missouri. You know what it might be that makes these two interesting is because in a way, in normal everyday American life, this kind of situation is not obtainable for most. And it's kind of something that people want, but it's becoming increasingly hard to get, which is crazy. Because I mean, you know, 30 years ago, that was what you did. You know, in your early 20s, you get married, you have kids, you start a family, you buy a house and everything. It's like, you think about that now, it's like, buy a house, start a family, get a job. It, 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 <laughs> so I guess that these two are fortunate in that regard that they really have been able to take off on YouTube and be successful in that regard. And they've been able to make a reality uh, of what so many people that are young want. But it's, it's unfortunate because I think that a lot of people nowadays just aren't having kids because they can't afford it or because they can't find a job or because they can't find health insurance or they, they can't buy a house. I mean, you know, everybody has to rent now. It's like, <laughs> so 
which is another thing, but I, I won't you know go too off tangent, but it's just like, you know, why are people out there paying $1,500 in rent and they can't get an $1,100 mortgage? Just saying. And my mom is hosting a party. Here you go, buddy. Someone's at the door. Hello, hello. Are you decent? Not really. Oh my gosh. Well then keep your shirt up. I just walk into our bedroom and you're just sitting on the floor eating oatmeal. <laughs> Were you just escaping Griffin? Were you, did you have enough of Griffin this morning? No, I just wanted to eat and I knew someone was coming over and I don't have pants on. Oh, gotcha. Today's gonna be a good day. We're not gonna stress out. I know sometimes we do get stressed out on travel days because there's a lot to think of, especially when you pack for a baby. We got Griffin's clothes on today. Oh, freaking yeah, dude. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Okay, we're making progress, and as usual, we're not packing light. We've got our whole entire podcast set up <laughs> coming with us. Okay, I'm starting to see it a little bit now. I'm starting to see it a little bit now. I, I, I want to say... I want to say that maybe the, the main drive of this channel is him. I don't know. I, I feel like they see this kid, and they're like, oh, you know, cute, young, hot guy. And, the, you know, he's a good dad. He's dreamy. has the eyes and everything. I feel like maybe the, he's the primary motivator of their channel. To think of, especially when you pack for a baby. Pack. We got Griffin's clothes on together. Oh, freaking yeah, dude. Thank you for doing that. Okay, we're making progress. And as usual, we're not packing light. We've got our whole entire podcast set up <laughs> coming with us. We're gonna have my parents on the podcast. These lights right here are like very sensitive. So I need to like wrap these in probably some like underwear <laughs> or like my shirts or something. So I'm gonna do that. But it is currently 11.34 and I think the plan was to leave the house around one o'clock. So I think we can do this. I think we're gonna be okay. I feel like for the first time ever, we actually gave us ourselves adequate time to pack Just today. Just because we're gonna delay. The flight got delayed? Yeah. Oh, you're right. But even if it wasn't delayed, I feel like we would have still been fine. Usually when we pack for trips, we try to watch her. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm jumping the gun on it. Maybe it's just because he's doing most of the talking. I mean, this is like one of their first vlogs I've ever seen before. I don't know, maybe, maybe I should watch more content where it's like more focused on her. Because I, I, I don't know them at all. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm making conclusions too quickly. Griffin and pack and today yeah, we, we, we got a babysitter to come over so we could actually pack. So that was the move. That Good idea. Move. Good thinking. That was your idea. Yeah, actually that was my idea. Moving, yeah, let's go. And of course, even though our flight was delayed, we're still doing things last minute. Let's do it. All right, we're at the airport. Thank you. Yeah, love you. Thanks. Love you. Here, that kid literally gave us the, <laughs> the most difficult flight we've ever had. <laughs> but we're in St. Louis. It's 11:15, and then we have to drive all the way back home. The party us. is in less than 12 hours. Oh frick! The January deal is in less than 12 hours. That's crazy. We made it to St. Louis, brother. What's up? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you too. Thanks for helping me grab the bags. Of course. Do you think you know what the gender is? I have no clue. All I know is I feel like between you and Caleb, one is gonna be a girl. Really? We only have like 10 hours until the reveal, so True. we gotta make a decision. It's kinda chilly out right now. You guys are just used to that Phoenix weather. I think it's safe to say that that was the crappiest flight we've had ever. Griffin cried for probably half the flight. And I just felt bad that there were like 50 people around us that had to listen to that during the flight. And I also, I did feel, feel bad for Griffin too. It was past his bedtime. Really Here's the thing, we booked this flight perfectly. It was like Griffin takes his second half of the day, he'll be well rested, then we hop on the plane, fly over, we land here, say hi to family, then he goes to bed. The flight got delayed four hours. It was four hours delayed. So it really could not have been worse. Guys, I don't know. This might be a little dry for me. I I, I mean, where's the spice? I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm still trying to comprehend like what is the draw of these two? I mean, other than the fact that they're young and pretty. Because I, I don't get it. Maybe it's just me like having a short attention span. I mean, I've watched four minutes of that. I, I just don't get it. <laughs> maybe maybe I need to give it time. <laughs> Me trying to venture out a girl world and do something new. <laughs> I just don't get it, you know? <laughs> Where are the wrong shoes? Where's the DoorDash? Where's the... <laughs> He's got his own seat. 
I'm yeah. not gonna be one of those people with a big old baby in my lap. And he is so mobile now. There's nothing that can entertain a baby that age, really, no. other than like moving around. Then he can't move around, he so can. there was just nothing we could do. He is a very social kid, though. He wanted to talk to everybody. But we made it. It's currently 12.48 p.m. The gender reveal starts at 10 a.m., so we're literally nine hours away. My mom's already started to decorate the house. P.M. P.M. 12.48 p.m. <laughs> Josh did some balloons. There's a banner. Oh my gosh. This is so chuggy. <laughs> Boy or girl? What will it be? We'll find out in nine hours. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to bed. I love you. Oh, oh now you love me. Ow, ow, it's like whack my leg on that. Good morning. Like, could I ever watch Matt and Abby and like do like a time gate? Like the fact that he said 12.48 p.m. when they're doing the gender reveal at 9 a.m. and he said like literally nine hours. Like, be like, oh, like he meant to say 12.48 a.m. He's gaslighting the audience. Like, <laughs> I need help. I need help. I cannot be more exhausted right now. You being pregnant and breastfeeding, how are, how are you feeling? Better than you. I feel like death. Wait, you gotta show me the text message from my dad. He's like, does the banner look okay? Oh my gosh. At this point, we just have to have it up. My parents are very excited. I'm gonna keep sleeping. I literally can't get up right now. No, you're getting up. I'm gonna sleep for like 15 more minutes. No. It's not even 8 o'clock in the morning. It is. It's we, after we... 11 more minutes. All right, I'm getting out of bed. Let's go say hi to my parents. Apparently, nobody's here. Mom? Mother? Dad? I can't find anybody in the house. I haven't seen your parents either. Wait, you're kidding. Uh-uh. So where are they? I'm you know what? And if actually this will be really helpful. If one of you watch these two and you know about these two, like let me know in the comments. Like give me info about these two. So I know that they used to live in Hawaii. Okay. They used to live in Hawaii, but that was too far away from home, mainly because she didn't want to live there. She thought it was too far away from home and it wasn't like the vibe. So they moved back to the States. Where do they live now? Wait, what's the T? Because I know that they bought a house. I want to say it's like in Texas or Arizona. Arizona. It's Arizona. They live in Arizona. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They live in Arizona. So they're living in Arizona, but they flew home to St. Louis to see family. Okay. Why am I awake right now? Because the party's not for another hour and 20 minutes. There's a lot of things to do. You host a party event. Okay, you're right. I need help. And you're going to need to help your son. I think my dad's awake. Hey, Dad! Hey, how are you doing? Jay Doc here. Thanks for having us. Oh, we're super excited. Did you move your deer head up from the basement? Yeah, I was gonna paint the wall, but I didn't want the uh, odor to bother the newborn baby. Yet. <laughs> Put the party together. Thank, her aunt. Thank you, Yay! Grandma. Isn't that crazy? Three, three grandkids? In August, there'll be three grandkids. Well, we look like it, so. No, I don't. Okay. No, you, no, you don't. <laughs> hey! Hello, hello. I don't think we've seen you since we told you that we were pregnant. What up? Hi! Blake, what up, dude? Oh, it's Vicky and Terry! Hello! Good to see you guys! Yeah, okay, pretty sure everybody's here at the party now. Um, we're just munching on some Chick fil A minis. Should we go ahead and ask for their, their gender reveal predictions? Yeah. I've just been informed my uncles are placing bets on if it's a boy or girl. Like, there's actual money involved at this point. <laughs> it's like, it's like Vegas. Are you gonna get involved in that betting dad i have your great uncle and i think you're gonna be a girl girl okay. girl hey baby this is your great aunt speaking here i'm going for girl because i think we need another girl in the family yeah. jocelyn what are we thinking hi i'm your first co your cousin once removed i think you're gonna be a girl i'm the great grandma and i think it's gonna be a girl i'm wanting a girl but i know you're gonna be a boy who wants to predict the gender next hi i'm your cousin once removed i think the reason why i don't resonate with this content is because I don't see people having kids and think like, this is interesting. This is heartwarming. This is, I mean, we'll, we'll finish the video. I mean, you know, I'm already halfway through it and everything, but in terms of doing this some more, I'm not sure. I guess, I guess, you know what also, and I've asked this before in the past, but if you guys have suggestions, suggestions of different people, let me know. But I mean, this very cookie cutter kind of family and the Chick-fil-A catering and the baby cried on the airplane. I don't know if this is oh lordy, it's Jordy kind of stuff. Like, like do, do people genuinely watch these videos and think like, oh, girls winning 11 to 7, 13 to 8, girls going to win. Oh, look, it's a tie at the end. Like, d d d does this get people's blood pumping? <laughs> I 
Oh, here they here. They do a little talk thing. I love his dream, but I'm still thinking it's going to be a boy. I'm a grandpa, and I think you're a boy. I'm grandma, and I think you're a boy. I'm your dad, and we already know the gender, but my guess is a boy. My guess is a boy, too. You On actually bet $100? <laughs> no way. They told me it was a $2 bet. There's no way you bet. No. I win. I get 100 bucks. Uh, okay. I will not allow you to give 100 bucks. <laughs> okay. You got an interpretive answer again. Okay. We're going to announce. We're going to do the poppers. Everybody coming out? Hang them on the wire. You want to hang up the balloons, Mom? I mean, we don't have to hang those up. We can just do the poppers. You don't need to be stressed out, Mom. It's going to be okay. How do we feel about the whole entire gender reveal thing? Um, if if you got that, you got that. If If you got why I just laughed after him saying that, we're having a meeting of the minds right now. <laughs> I'm not going to point it out. I'm not going to explain it. If you understood why I just laughed, <laughs> that's between us. We're hijacked by our mothers. I expect nothing less. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. You're welcome. Josh, Josh, it's fine. You can just like show us popping it and then just like show everybody. Can, I just like, this is a lot of pressure. Are you going to be recording this? Sorry, I kind of just threw that on No, it's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For the color that comes out of this, Josh, you should, I'm worried that one is taking one. <laughs> See, promise, it's only one baby. It's not only one. Okay, okay ready? No twins. No twins. No, twins. no more surprises. Okay. Yeah, 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 no more surprises. Are we ready? I'm done. Yeah. Kind of sound out here. Okay. Three, two. Well, I have to guess. I didn't get to guess. They they had 26 votes. Where's Jordy's guess? Oh, here I'll guess. All right. Um, they already have a boy. I'll say it's a second boy. I'll say, all right, it's, it's going to be blue, blue crap that goes everywhere in the air. I'll say it's a boy. One. Ah! Oh, my God, I was right. Oh, this is kind of exciting. I, I don't think that I'll do another video on them. <laughs> it was exciting to be right. <laughs> I'm so stupid. We decided the name literally like five minutes after we found out the gender, and it's going to be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Look, that's why you have to watch their next video to find out the name of the baby. Ugh. I want to know what the name of the baby is now. Oh my god, did they just rope me into this? Oh my gosh. They did it. The end, by the be the beginning of this video, I wasn't into it, but the end, they, they made it real exciting and then they left a cliffhanger and it's like, well, I want to know the name of the baby now. So I don't know. Am I into this now? I don't know what to think. <laughs>